Today we're going to be talking about audio spectrums that actually update live, kind of like this one right here that is currently updating based on how I'm talking, also how it can update to the music track in the background. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So, like you saw in the intro, we're gonna be tackling this audio spectrum effect that live updates based on whatever audio you feed it inside of After Effects, and it is super easy to do inside of After Effects, and we're gonna cover that in just a minute. And you might be thinking, where can I utilize this effect? And the first thing that pops into my mind is like a starting soon animation. Imagine having your starting soon animation that you have your music bed underneath and it just live updates based on the music that's playing under your starting soon screen. I think it's such a unique effect to put inside of your Twitch stream that I don't think a lot of people are doing right now. And in this day and age of Twitch, standing out using unique overlays is one of the best ways to make people come to your stream and stick around. And I think this is a really cool effect that can make you stand out. So without further ado, let's jump into After Effects and take a look how to simply tackle this audio spectrum effect. All right guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. I've got a completely blank After Effects project here and all I've got here is two audio clips. I've got an audio test clip that is just my voice and I've got my intro music, which is Broken Radios by Stanley Gervich. If you are wondering, that is my intro song. So I've got those two things right here and the first thing we're gonna do is create a new composition. So now that we got our composition, the first thing we wanna do is create a new solid. So we're gonna go up to Layer, New, and then Solid and here you can set it to be whatever color you want because the audio spectrum effect is actually gonna allow us to set our color later so I'll just set it to be a blue solid for now and now what we're gonna do is we are going to apply an effect to this blue solid so go over here to your effects and presets and just type in audio and once you type in audio you're gonna see you got two options here audio spectrum and audio waveform now these do similar things you can get a similar effect with both of these they just look a little bit different so once I show you one you can probably pop on the other one play with it and have the similar effects to get something else but I'm gonna use the audio spectrum for now drop it onto the blue solid and as you can see it has added all these little dots and it is also changed our color as you can see it changed to these colors right here that we can change to whatever we want so I'll do that in just a minute but the first thing we want to do now is figure out what audio source we want to use so for the first test I'm gonna grab this audio test clip and if we drop it down here just into our composition and go ahead and hit play you're gonna see it's just a nice clip of me talking hey guys what's up it's gravity and this is a test clip for audio purposes, yeah. And there you go, there's my test clip that I recorded, but as you can see, nothing happened up here. And that's because we have to tell the effect what our audio source is. So if we go back to the effects controls for the audio spectrum here, you're gonna see we've got audio layer, and right here on this drop down, we can set, instead of the royal blue solid, we can set it to the audio test clip right here under this drop down. And now when we hit play, hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and this is a test clip you can see we get a little bit of movement here, but we can also adjust that movement to be a little bit more pronounced. So if we look at some of the settings down here, you can see we've got thickness here that we can adjust to make their bands a little bit thicker. We can up the number of bands to make more dots. So I like going quite a few just like that. We can also set the height of the band. So if I set the height up a little bit, you'll see as I talk, they go up even more like that. So now I'm gonna set the height even higher. Let's get a pretty crazy effect going on. And now let's hit play and see what it looks like. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and this is a test clip for audio purposes. And just like that, as you can see, we've got this live updating audio spectrum that's listening to the audio and displaying what is going on in the spectrum. I think it is already such a cool effect, but we can customize it even more. You can customize the softness here to make the lines really harsh like that. We can also come down here and change the colors. So let's go to the blue that we set the original solid. Let's set both of these to blue. You can kind of do like a gradient as you can see. So I'm gonna go light blue on the outside and dark blue on the inside, just like that. You can mess around with the thickness more and as you can see you can get really strange effects like that but let's bring the thickness back down a little bit and you can also bring the bands up a little bit more and you can get this awesome effect like that if you take the bands really high but I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the frequency bands again and kind of bring it down a little bit more until we kind of get this look I think the thickness is a little too high let's bring the thickness back down I normally like it like that and then with a bunch of bands like that. This is normally the effect that I like. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and this is a test clip. So that's some of the effects that you can play with, but another one that I really like is down here where the side options are. You can see it says side A and B, and if you select just side A, the bands go only to the top, and if you just select side B, the bands only go to the bottom. So you might be able to see where I'm gonna go with this. We can actually move these little things around to set where we want them to be, or we can just move the entire layer. So I'm gonna 
gonna scale the layer up a little bit to where it goes across the entirety of the screen. And I'm gonna move the layer up just like this to where it's barely at the top of the screen. And as you can see, we've only got the side B pointing straight down. Then we can duplicate our royal blue solid by hitting Command or Control D. And we can drag this one down and set this one to side A to where it comes up from the bottom. And then just like that, you've got a really cool audio spectrum effect on the top and the bottom hey guys, of your screen. Gravity, and this is a test clip for audio purposes. But this would be a really cool way to do your starting soon screen. So you can create another solid, maybe something like a dark uh, bluish gray like that. Throw that under here. Type out, I don't know, starting soon. Well, not soon, starting soon. Let's go ahead and scale this down just like this. Align this to the center. Add your social media stuff down here. And just like that, you've got audio spectrums on the top and bottom of a dope starting soon screen that I made in literally like a minute, which is pretty cool. But you obviously don't want to have a voice underneath your starting soon screen. You want to have music. So let's go ahead and bring in my intro music instead. And let's go ahead and delete the audio clip. Let's go ahead and trim the music as well. So it starts kind of in the middle as well, like that. Cool. What we want to do now is you can see if we scrub forward, the audio spectrum no longer affects is being affected by the audio because we deleted our layer. We need to tell it the new layer. So let's click on both of our royal blue solids, go to this drop down, and now let's select the broken radio song. Let's do it for the second one as well. And you can see they're already getting updated with the new stuff. So now let's go ahead and hit play. Look at that. So as you can see, we've got the music now being affected here. What else could we do to this? We could also take another duplicate of this and maybe bring it back to the center. Let's go ahead and align it in the center just like that. Turn on the A and B sides again, and then maybe make the colors like a little bit of a lighter gray than what's in the background. So. Let's go ahead and make a little bit of a lighter gray, kind of like that. As you can see, now you can have like this kind of faint one in the center as well that's also matching it. I am actually going to go ahead and hide these layers right here. That could actually be a cool effect as well, just having it behind your text. That is a really cool effect. Obviously, this is super basic right now, so you could add your social media down here, add some other designs going on. But as you can see, the audio spectrum can just add an animated aspect to your overlays that other people might not have that gives you something to watch when the starting soon screen's going on. And it's so freaking simple to do. And I wasn't planning on doing this, but now that we're finding all these cool ways to do it, I'm actually gonna delete the audio spectrum and let's take a look at the other one here. Let's take a look at the audio waveform for a second. Let's drop it on there. And now let's set it to be the broken radios. As you can see, we've got this crazy zigzag going on. And now let's see what's, what do we want the color to be? Let's set the color to this again. Let's set the color to this again. And then let's do the little brightness trick we did kind of like that. Now, how does this look? Oh yeah. As you can see, it's a lot more chaos going on, but it's also a really cool effect that you can apply to have working with your audio in the background. And you can see we got analog lines right here. If we change it to digital, you can see we've just got these kind of lines and they're not attached. They're not like in a zigzag. You can also go analog dots and that is a super cool effect. So let's go ahead and make the thickness a little bit more on that, just like that. <laughs> That is really cool. So that is pretty much it for these effects. Play with the audio spectrum, play with the audio waveform. There's so many settings to mess around with. You can have multiple layers of it all over the place. You could have the entire screen just be a bunch of waveforms going off just to make your starting soon screens a little bit more exciting. It's a cool way to add movement and animation to your screens, which without having to actually do that animation yourself, it's live updating based on music tracks. And you can create multiple starting soon screens with different music tracks from After Effects so that you can have different audios affecting with different things. It's you, you can do whatever you want. You can have some incredible overlays with audio spectrums that are updating based on the music you're playing. And so I hope you guys got some knowledge out of this video and are going to jump in and play with the audio spectrum and audio waveforms to create some awesome starting soon animation. If you want to see me do some more stuff with this or create a template or create some free downloads with already pre-made audio spectrums and things like that, let me know down in the comments and leave a like on this video. And I will definitely do that because I love playing around with this audio stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get in there and mess around and I will see you in the next one.